Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Mastering MuseScore, and in this tip I want to show you how you can enable the Braille, the live Braille panel uh, within MuseScore, and also how to export from MuseScore into Braille format. So first let's look at the live Braille panel. This is what's new with MuseScore 4.1. To enable that, I'm going to go to the Edit menu, and then Preferences, and on a Mac, uh, I think you'll find preferences in uh, like the application menu. And then at the bottom of the list uh, in the uh, left-hand panel of the resulting dialog, you'll see Braille. And then when you select that, in the right-hand panel is a checkbox that says Show Braille Panel. And that's what we want. There's also some advanced options here to allow you to pick different uh, types of tables as far as how the lyrics are interpreted, what language setting is used. I'm just going to leave that at the default. So uh, I can now press OK. And when I do this, we will now see that on the bottom of the display, on the bottom of the main MuseScore window, is now a Braille display. And if you have a physical Braille display connected to your Windows computer, then it will actually display whatever is showing in this panel on your Braille display. So the, the raised dots will correspond to what we see here. So uh, what's going to happen now is as we navigate our score, let's say I select the first First measure of the score, then the display in the Braille panel will update to show that. I can also uh, uh, resize that panel to make sure that we're seeing everything in it. And so this is a piano score that has a top staff and a bottom staff. And what we'll see is that in the Braille uh, panel in MuseScore, we see the information for the top staff and the bottom staff uh, both displaying in the panel. And the same should be true in a Braille display. You might have to scroll from one line to the next, but it should show lines for both of the two staves there. Now, the screen reader, if you're trying to use the Braille panel with a screen reader, this does not seem to be supported, at least as of MuseScore 4.1, not with any of the screen readers that I have tried. Um, but it should work again on Windows. Windows with Braille displays and uh, on, uh, on any system. Also, if you click within that Braille uh, panel, you can then use the cursor keys to move around and the uh, status line will show you what is actually there at the cursor position. So right now there's an actual clef there at the cursor position. MuseScore in the live Braille does display clefs even though those aren't always used in Braille. So that's how you can access this live Braille then that shows you uh, the, the Braille equivalent of whatever, mu of whatever measure that you are looking at. It'll show you that whole measure. Now if you just want to take this whole score and export it to Braille format, we can go to the File menu and then Export. And then in under Format, we'll select Braille, which is at the bottom of the drop-down list. And then we can say Export, choose a file name, and go ahead and save. And that will save a BRF file, which is the format that is typically used by things like Braille devices and, and Braille displays and embossers and so forth. And it's also a format that you can load into uh, programs like the Braille Music Notator that is capable of displaying the contents of a BRF file and attempting to uh, convert it into uh, music that a sighted person could possibly uh, read and recognize. So that's how to use some of the Braille features in MuseScore 4.